In this topic, we have to write equations of circles. Equations of circles are one of the easiest among all the other conic sections because circle is easy to understand, interpret, and solve. Now, over here, we must remember the standard form. Circle standard form is x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square equals r square. This is radius. H and k is the center. And x and y are the coordinates. X and y. In the equation, you don't write x and, uh, I mean, you don't uh, change this. Write x as it is minus whatever the center is. Imagine this was 1, 1. Then it will be minus 1 the whole square plus y minus 1 the whole square equals r square. Depends on what is the radius. If it was radius was 5, then r square would be 25. Now, one important thing to remember over here, see, if the h is positive 1, then over here it will be minus 1 because the sign is there minus. k is 1 over here, it will be minus 1. But let me change this to minus 1 and minus 1. Just imagine h and k was minus 1, minus 1. Then minus and minus becomes plus and it will be plus 1. So easy way to remember is whatever is the center when you write in the equation opposite sign. If it's minus over here it will be plus. If it's plus over here it will be then minus over here. So with that knowledge we can easily solve. If at all the center is at 0, 0 then this h and k is 0, 0 and you will get the simplified equation that's x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So now then we will solve few problems. See so the center is given of a circle. Center, uh, if this is a circle, the center is minus 3, comma 1. And they have told it passes through a point 2, comma minus 1. So somewhere 2 and minus 1 over here, it passes through this point. Now, so it can be any point, anywhere in a circle if it, if a point is given, that can be considered as x and y. This over here center is always h and k. Now we know the standard form over here. This is the standard form um, of the circle, equation of the circle. What is required? We require h, k. That is given. But unknown thing is r, radius. How do we solve for radius? Substitute all the values over here. h, k, radius. 2, uh, sorry, uh, x and y, 2 and minus 1. Substitute in this equation and then solve for radius. See, I'll show you. It'll be x is how much? 2. This is minus, so it'll be plus over here, plus 3 the whole square, plus minus 1. Here it's 1, so it'll be minus 1 equals r squared. Solve this up. You can use calculator or you can do it in your mind easily. 2 plus uh, 3 is 5 squared. Plus minus 1 minus 1 will become minus 2 the whole square equals r square. Here you have to use brackets because this square, this minus uh, becomes a positive. 5 squared is 25 plus 2 squared is 4 equals r square. It's 29. r squared is 29 or r is square root 29. So over here when we solve we get 29. So the equation of the circle is center is given minus 3 and 1. Radius is root of 29 or r squared is 29. Now substitute back in this particular equation. Say x, this minus and minus becomes plus 3 whole square. y minus 1 the whole square equals 29. This is the equation. That is it. So this is how we solve it. Now same way you can solve the others. Now this one is very simple. The same thing. Remember, now we are x and y is these two and this is h and k. Substitute and you'll get it. Now over here in the second problem, so, sorry, over here you need to substitute and find r and then substitute in the equation. That's it. Second problem is again very, very similar, but they have told it passes through the origin. See, imagine this is the coordinate. The center is negative, so it's over here somewhere, something like this. And that circle is passing through the origin point something like this this origin is touched so that means x and y are 0 comma 0 origin so over here in the problem when we solved see this x would be 0 y would be 0 and then solve for r 
that's it that's how you do it and now we can look over here the center was always important 9 becomes minus 9 minus 8 becomes plus 8 same thing over here and you can see that and this radius is found out that's the only thing now this is interesting center at is given center is given but they have told tangent to y axis let me draw a coordinate plane y axis is over here what does it mean to be a tangent tangent means the circle is having a center right 8 minus 9 somewhere over here okay uh, x is 8 let me take this as 8 and this as minus 9 okay this is 8 so this is a point this is the center okay h and k now the circle is tangent to y axis means it will touch tan only at one point see something like this but it touches this y axis at one point so whatever is this uh, center h comma k that is 8 comma minus 9 right now this point over here will be touched that is x will be 0 what is the x value it's 0 comma y value is minus 9 these are the two points you will always get this now if at all it's y axis the y x will be 0 and y axis will be the same as the center so now let me solve it x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square equals r square now we hear what is x x is 0 minus what is h h is the center so it is given over here 8 in the question minus 8 the whole square plus what is y y is minus 9 over here when it's minus it becomes plus so change the sign whole square equals r square now what happens minus 9 plus 9 is 0 this cancels 0 square is 0 minus 8 the whole square is 64 that is equal to r square r is equal to 8 so the radius over here is 8 it's very obvious to understand why see this is the tangent right this is the center this is the tangent how much is the radius from the center to this point x value that is the answer 8 so this is the thing now if they tell tangent to y axis you must take this as the radius r so r square will be directly 64 now you can see the equation center x minus 8 whole square plus y plus 9 whole square equals 64 why because it's tangent to y axis the center whatever is there from the center the x value is the uh, radius now the next one tangent to x axis let us see this it's 2 and 4 so it's something like this the value over here can you see this x-axis the sorry the center is over here imagine this the center it is tangent to the x-axis see this is the thing so now you must understand this is the radius in the last problem x was the radius why because y-axis was the tangent but now x-axis is the tangent it's flat you need to see the vertical height because x is flat what is vertical this is the y value this is the radius so r is 64 r square is 16 now i'll repeat this again if it's y axis see y axis tangent means this is straight so the circle you need to go like this x value whereas if it's tangent to x axis it touches the x axis what is the height so y will be the consideration that is how we can solve it it's all straightforward now we hear the center this is another tricky question they have given the center of the circle wait let me do it properly oh god now this is much better the center is in the first quadrant somewhere over here uh, i hope you remember this is first quadrant this is second this is third and this is fourth quadrant now all a circle can be divided into four so now first quadrant is 90 degrees second 90 and so on so now the center over here is somewhere over here in the first quadrant but they have told see it's tangent to x is equal to phi imagine this is phi now 
if that is phi so let me just draw dot oh god uh over here so now okay that is much better i'm sorry for my drawings and now x is equal to phi over here and they have also ruled it's tangent to x axis and y axis so which is x axis this is the axis x and this is y so they're telling the circle see now it will touch one point over there touching one point over here and one point over here and that is the circle so now if you understand this you can easily know so uh, what you can understand is this is phi right so this is phi the total distance is phi how much is it from the center so total over here is phi this will be half that is 2.5 and over here also it will be 2.5 this is the thing so i will i will write it over here x uh, sorry center i'll write the center it will be 2.5 uh, sorry the radius i mean it will be 2.5 the whole square now what about the other thing so we know this is phi ra radius is 2 point uh, radius is 2.5 so from here to here what is the distance that is also the radius 2.5 so x value is 2.5 y value is also 2.5 why because the radius is equal everywhere if this is 2.5 this is 2.5 every part of the radius is 2.5 so we can get the center is 2.5 comma 2.5 so let's see the answer it will be over here x minus 2.5 y minus 2.5 and this is 2.5 square that is it same way you can solve the next one over here they have given you y1 see y1 is somewhere over here y5 and the y-axis see the center is in the second quadrant but it's tangent like this sorry so imagine this is the center it's tangent to the x equal y equals 1 y equals 5 so what is the total diameter it is 4 so radius will be 2 so this is how we can easily solve so radius is 2 over here and okay sorry this is fine but what is the center that will be x see x value will be 1 2 it's very simple because the radius is 2 but y value varies see y value is 1 2 but this 1 is also included see because y starts from 1 so it is 1 2 and 3 so this is the difference and since it's in the second quadrant x value that 1 2 will be minus 2 y value will be positive 3 so over here x value is minus 2 y is positive 3 so a h k it is minus 2 and 3 so when we write in the equation it will be x plus 2 y minus 3 equals r square r is 2 2 square and that's how we can solve this very straightforward solve it by yourself and then check for the answers